Applications are now being accepted. Actually, the Beltrami County Fair, we'll talk about that story first because it is in full swing. And at this year's fair, you get to have a say in the future direction of the fair. Our Josh Peterson shows us how a unique set of surveys will help pave the way for the future of the fair. Yep. A lot can be said about a fair. Some come from the rides, some for the food, and of course, for the animals. <laughs> And this information is exactly what the Beltrami County Fair Board wants to know. Have you attended the fair before this year? New for this year's fair is a team of surveyors who will be out striking up good old fashioned conversation. Hi, Hi. I'm Kristen. <laughs> I'm with, Hi, thank you, nice, nice to meet you. I'm as a way to plan for the future. Today. We rely heavily on grants that are out there. So right now in order to obtain those grants, you need information. And what we're finding out by applying for grants, you look at other counties, what they've done, other organizations, they need backing. For the five days of the fair, surveyors will be asking the not so tough questions. Kids going to be attending the carnival at all? Yes. Then taking the answers all the way to the University of Minnesota. What we've done is we've partnered with the University of Minnesota and have actually implemented uh, a survey. And part of the survey is going to be a cultural survey as well as economic to understand how much uh, money this fair brings to the community. For the surveyors who have been hitting the pavement, the overall response has been positive and educational. The response that I've gotten is very positive, um, very willing to help out um, and fill out the survey. I've had some lovely conversations with individuals. Crew members say it's all about the conversation. <laughs> Have you come to the fair before? Hi, honey. And having fun while doing it. Some of the questions are very simple to answer, um, very quick, and some of them take a little bit of thought, about three to four minutes. Um, if I don't talk to them, they get it done right away. <laughs> Otherwise, we like to talk and converse. So if you see a smiling face wearing a blue vest approach you at the fair, have no fear. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Your I input little, could be the next big uh, thing at the fair. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The fair hopes to collect a minimum of 850 surveys. After the fair, the data will be collected and will be turned over to the University of Minnesota for analysis and will be provided back to the fair board in the coming year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.